Hi, everybody. Steve Scott here. And in this episode of Good Books to Read, Good Books to Have, we're going to take a look at some books that are just general in nature and a lot of fun to read. I, I just enjoy reading them a lot. And uh, they're uh, kind of a variety of topics here. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, if you have not yet purchased this classic and own it, uh, there are many different editions of it. A Book of Five, Ri Five Rings by Musashi. Um, this one is it's a guide to strategy. This is one that uh, um, I, I, I looked, you know, I kind of looked at a bunch of them over. And I, I, years ago, um, I, I found this one. It was uh, translated by Victor Harris, and it's the Overlook Press. Uh, I particularly like this one. It's a good, uh, it, it's also a very nice book to have. It's very, very interesting book, a lot of great calligraphy and photography in it. Um, but it's Masashi's life and his the, the classic book of five rings. Um, you know, it's the type of thing you can read and reread and just constantly get something out of it. So it's uh, just a great book. So if you are into martial arts, um, here's a great book, a book of five rings. Another book on martial arts that is a much newer book is Sumo for Mixed Martial Arts by Andrew Zerling. Um, this is a really good little book. Um, and you say, sumo for mixed martial arts for MMA? Yep. And Andrew Zerling makes a great point. A lot of good, good photography, uh, good, good descriptive. You know, the, the narrative is very, very, very well done. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, by the way, I think I did this when I did a forward for this book. I was proud to do, and it's got a signed copy by the author. Uh, yeah, I wrote a forward for this. Um, it's not the only reason I'm recommending it, but because it is a really good book. And I, I like to read it because it's just so interesting to read. And it is like, when, when Andrew contacted me about he was going to do this book and he wanted a forward, I said, well, that's an interesting concept. So he sent me the, you know, the early advances on it. And I fell in love with it. Great book. So I would highly recommend this book, Sumo for Mixed Martial Arts. Um, and you will learn, no matter judo, sambo, jiu-jitsu guy like me, I picked some cool moves from this. So there you go. Great book. Another book about judo by Mark Law called Falling Hard, A Journey into the World of Judo. A lot of you have read this. I'm sure it's a big seller. It's probably one of the best-selling books in judo ever written It for a good reason. It is a really entertaining book, and it's a great read, um, and I would highly recommend it, Falling Hard, a journey into the world of judo, and it's uh, Mark Law's experiences into doing judo. It's it's just a great read and fun to read, and I think everybody who does judo should read this book. You'll you'll like it. It be give you some good enjoyment to do that. Now, two books that I use uh, a lot in coaching, and I actually use these books uh, when I wrote my latest book um, on uh, the, the judo judo advantage. Uh, these were two of my references, and because there are two authors, I think are quite good. There are other authors that have written sim similar material, but these two have really written. In th these are recent books, and they're very, really well presented. Uh, the first one is a book, Outliers, by Malcolm Gladwell. And years ago, my friend John Saylor said, "You got to read this book." I said, "Yeah, yeah." He said, "No, no." And John's a bibliophile like me. He said, "No, you got to read this book." So I did. And I'm so glad John, uh, when this first came out, uh, got me to read it. Um, it is a great book, and if you are teaching anything, but certainly uh, practical things like martial arts, judo, samba, jiu-jitsu, um, this is a really, really good book to read. It has a lot of good uh, information, a lot of good examples of people who are outliers. And I'm not going to spoil the book. I, if you've already read it, you know what I mean. But if you haven't read it, I don't want to spoil it for you. It's a great book. So Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Great read. Highly recommend it. Another book along that line, and I think is uh, essential for coaches to read. I think it's a really good coaching book. Um, even though I didn't list it in the coaching book section, you know, on the video I've done on coaching books, uh, this is more of a general book on uh, called Mastery by Robert Greene. And it's a very popular book. It's a, it's a bestseller, New York Times bestseller, uh, as well it should be, as I think, Outliers was as well. It's similar to Outliers uh, in, in, in many ways, but it talks about mastery of skill. You know, and he, he, uh, Robert Greene talks about, writes about great masters, uh, Da Vinci, um, you know, it, it, people who were very good at what they did, who were masters at what they did, and how they came about doing it. And it's uh, a great read. Again, if you have not read it yet, I don't want to ruin it for you because it is one of those things. It's a, it's a fairly fairly hefty book. Um, it certainly is 
not always an easy read for some people, possibly, but I think generally it will be, and because Green is a very good writer. He explains things quite well, and it really does break down how people learn, and I think it's worth every coach you know, reading. Uh, I certainly enjoy reading it, rereading it. It's a, it's, a, it's a great book, one of my favorites. So Robert Green Mastery. These are just some of the books. Um, there are plenty more. Um, I think you should, I think everyone, no matter what your area of interest and in, say, I'm talking mainly to martial arts people now, uh, we should all have a wide variety of books we read. Um, I, I particularly, um, I like Winston Churchill. I like what he wrote. I like to read about him. He's a favorite of mine. Uh, there's some other people. G.K. Chesterton is a great writer, or was a great writer, and is a very, very readable guy. Uh, a variety of subjects. I, I think no matter what we, we have, we should, you know, branch out. We should be well-versed in, in a lot of different things, even if it's not our main thing we do, which is my case, coaching judo, jiu-jitsu, and sambo. Uh, I think reading other books on other subjects enhances me and makes me smarter, better, whatever I can be, um, you know, smart as I can be. But anyway, reading is, is vital. I think it's one of the things we should do. So that being said, these are some interesting books uh, you might want to pick up and read, um, and uh, I hope you do. So thanks for watching.